once too remote for all but a handful of visitors, today there's a new highway to Hawaii. United Airlines Mainline Airway, which brings these magic islands as close as your next door neighbor. From 75 mainland cities, United's DC-6 mainliners converge on California, the real starting point of your Hawaiian holiday. As flight time nears, the passengers gather in United Hawaii room. There, over a cup of coffee or pineapple juice, you exchange goodbyes with friends or look over a cutaway model of the great 55-passenger plane you'll soon be boarding. United's double-deck mainliner Stratocruiser. You observe its spacious luxury, the flight deck, the forward compartment with berths for four, large dressing rooms, main passenger cabin, galley, and spiral staircase to the lower deck lounge, rear cabin and private stateroom. In a few moments, comes the welcome announcement that the plane is ready for departure and you're Honolulu bound. The captain gives the ready signal to the ground crew. The four 3,500 horsepower engines are started and the Stratocruiser moves majestically away from the gate, dwarfing the terminal buildings in the waving crowd. Fully loaded at 70 tons, the plane climbs into the air, soaring over the city, the green hills, and the white strip of beach which marks the shore. Ahead are the blue waters of the Pacific, whose long swells become mere ripples below as the plane reaches its cruising altitude and levels off in the smooth upper air. Inside the quiet cabin, the air is pressurized to sea level comfort and there's almost no feeling of motion. The stroll about spaciousness of the mainliner Stratocruiser invites a leisurely look around. Back to the main passenger cabin with its soft reclining seat and big picture windows. Amidships, you pause for a glimpse into the compact galley and look down the spiral staircase leading to the lower deck lounge. Almost before you realize it, mealtime has arrived. From their storage chests come chilled salads, hot entrees, and frozen desserts. which are served by the stewardess on individual tables set up for each passenger. Yes, meals aboard the mainliner Stratocruiser are one of the real highlights of your Pacific crossing. Just aft of the rear cabin is a luxuriously appointed private stateroom decorated in rose and gray. Here, one may enjoy complete privacy throughout the journey and on overnight flights, the restful comfort of two full-size berths. The Hawaiian lounge downstairs on the lower deck is one of the most popular spots aboard the Stratocruiser. Here's a pleasant place to while away brief travel hours, joining in a game of cards, meeting congenial companions, or enjoying a cool drink from the refreshment bar. Forward on the flight deck is the competent crew which guides the mainliner. The captain, veteran of thousands of flying hours, the flight engineer who carefully monitors engine performance, the first officer who relieves at the controls, and the navigator who pinpoints the ship's position with the latest electronic aids to navigation. 
About two hours before arrival time, the passengers enjoy a wonderfully appetizing buffet laid out on the serving counter. Cold meats of all kinds, delicious salads, ice cream and wafers prepared by Continental Chef in United's own flight kitchen. The captain announces over the public address system that land has been sighted, and the passengers look out eagerly for the first view of Diamond Head. The beautiful shoreline unfolds, the green hills and the curve of Waikiki Beach. The city of Honolulu itself, a fair haven indeed as your mainliner Stratocruiser settles down for a graceful landing a few hours from the mainland. As your plane taxis up to the terminal, you're greeted by the friendly aloha emblazoned on the tower. And by lays of fresh flowers, together with music and native dances, which are part of a traditional Hawaiian welcome. sunshine of your first Hawaiian morning, Waikiki Beach is just as you've always pictured it. There's the Royal Hawaiian Hotel and the famous Outrigger Canoe Club, where a crew of stalwart beach boys takes us for a sightseeing trip along this crescent of white sand, curved like a pleasant smile between Diamond Head and downtown Honolulu. Passing by the Royal Hawaiian in Halekulani hotels, we cruise along to the sound of native voices, lifted in a war chant of old Hawaii. <laughs> 